Thanks for staying with us. This year marked 10 years since a St. Tammany Sheriff's deputy's life changed forever. But an eyewitness update on Mary Mayo's lingering struggles inspired an idea that's helping some from opposite walks of life overcome their obstacles with her. North Shore Bureau Chief Ashley Rodrig has a story from Washington Parish. Seven miles from the Louisiana-Mississippi state line between the communities of Angie and Barnado sits the BB60 Rayburn Correctional Center. Inside its medium security walls are almost 1,300 inmates serving time for crimes from burglary to murder. <sighs> for the past 10 years, Mary Mayo says her life has been like living behind bars, but in the form of this wheelchair. She was paralyzed as a St. Tammany Sheriff's deputy riding in a patrol vehicle with her fiance, Deputy Bo Raymer. When a tree fell on their unit, they were riding as part of a funeral procession for another deputy. Raymer died in the accident. A decade later, Mayo has adapted to the confines of her reality, but she wants to be able to do more. Yet, she's going inside the gates of Rayburn Prison to find that link to freedom. Willow. Good girl. Its name is Willow. Willow, yes. get that. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. She'll pick up just by anything. Willow, a stray dog facing an uncertain future, was rescued by the Dog on Express program. Two times, Xander. Try it two times and just ignore them. The program, run by Bill Bars, pairs saved shelter dogs with prisoners looking for a new purpose. Bars says it turns out trained, adoptable dogs and changed men and women. Many of the inmates have told me, even when they've gotten out, that the program changed their lives. And I think it's really that the dogs changed the inmates' lives. It fills my day, it gives me something when I say, I did that. Mm -hmm. I haven't really done a whole lot in my life that's really worthwhile talking about, but when a dog leaves here, or a good dog like her, I get like, uh, yeah, I did that. Willow, find your phone. Good girl. The training here ranges from basic commands like sit and stay to more extensive targeted training to help people with disabilities like Mary. And she picks up the brush, the ball, and the uh, phone on command. All skills especially crafted for Mayo after Barr saw an eyewitness report about her continued struggles. Uh, Willow has been taught to pick things up, which is the hardest thing for me. You know, when I, when I drop something, it might as well be, you know, a mile away. So having, having that help will be amazing to me. It'll be life changing. Is that mama's girl? I am hoping that the interaction between Mary and Willow is a growing process for both of them and that the bonding becomes very close, that they become each other's best friends and that Mary's quality of life improves. Another way she's hoping to gain more independence is through purchasing a handicapped accessible van. After a year of fundraising, she's shy just $10,000 from her goal. The community's been a lot of help so far and um, I just need that little bit more to get my vehicle so I can be truly independent and not be stuck in my house all day. And then have Willow be able to go out with you elsewhere. Right. Now he knows me, of course, you all know he knows me, but. As for Dog on Express, though the nonprofit has expanded over time to other state and parish correctional facilities, it's only running now at Rayburn. Barr says to continue the program into its sixth year there, he'll need renewed financial support from the community and soon. But despite less than desirable circumstances, in a prison, in a wheelchair, facing a short life or facing shutdown, Doggone Express brings hope, help, and happier days to many. Ashley Rodriguez, Eyewitness News.